Hi, I'm Evan Fantasi. We're going to be discussing today's San Chin, whether it is a tiger, a crane, a dragon, a snake form. Now, there was a question that came up in Facebook, and uh, the question was whether it was a snake or a dragon. Because of these sounds or the actions of the hand strikes, the nukates or the two finger strike seen in the video in the background. Now, I'm going to be going over a slow um, explanation of the three animal forms of uh, Wei Chiru San Chin, being the uh, dragon, the tiger, and the crane, and giving my viewpoints on why those aspects, the three main animals of um, Wei Chi, uh, why those are apparent in this form, and the variations and the differences between the three animal styles and their influences over this uh, magnificent kata. Again, this is Kata San Chin, and stay tuned, we'll be breaking this down uh, step by step. take a look here now in the beginning you can see sinks to the ground and you're grasping body constriction like a tiger here we have a crane posture into a crane strike and as he was pulling up the clenched fists of the tiger the crossing of the hands as he steps like a crane is emulating actually the dragon as it's cross hemispherically controlling the body, the somatic and the autonomic nervous system. More on that at another time. That pivot is of the dragon, again, doing what the hands are doing as a crossing to cross the right and left hemispheres of the brain with the body control. We have another pivot coming up here. You'll see a little bit better, legs cross and open. Now the strikes continue for a little bit longer where he then doubles up on the crane strikes and then goes into a grasping action of the tiger. Pulling and pulling downward, okay? The motion to the side, the crossing of the arms is dragon. You have uh, what's a cross between the crane and the tiger, as you'll see in the stills, and this posture, definitely the tiger. So let's take a look at the stills now. You can see them, him pulling down a tiger, pulling down an antelope, pulling back like a crane just about to lash out with an um, outward motion. And there is the outward motion, the expression of the crane, whereas the tiger is the inward. This is the inward of the tiger, pulling, tearing. Okay, the pivot is the dragon, the arms crossing, the legs crossing. That's significant. When you have the strike coming out, Okay, in a double hand posture in this last um, aspect, you have uh, the, the crane outwardly thrusting, but then you have the tiger formation, and we'll see that at the last still of this coming forward. You see the dragon approach right here of the crossing, iron shirt, and then you see the clawed position to pull inward. The closed gate position, not a bow. You'll see the bow at the end. This is pulling in and hunkering down as in a biting action to the animal. And there's the salute. So the last motion of the closing gate was not the, um, uh, the bow, okay? It is a motion that when a tiger pulls its prey in, it finally um, bites the animal to subdue and consume. 
So that's a little bit on the dragon, the tiger, and the crane of Weichi Sanchi. Thank you.